All right, look at that face shot, Jesus. What's going on YouTube, Bird here, and in today's video, we are going over the brand new rifle added in Fallout 76, the Alien Disintegrator, with my in-game rifleman build to go along with it. But before we get into the video, make sure you smash that like button with the Fallout 76, can we can see this? And subscribe for more Fallout 76 content. Let's get into it. Starting off everything, this is it. This is my three-star legendary Alien Disintegrator that we're using for the demonstrations. And the main legendary effect is the bloodied effect, which is damage increases as your health decreases, as the VATS critical hits do a plus 50% damage, which is absolutely insane for rifleman builds and also has a plus 250 damage resistance while reloading This is one of my favorite alien disintegrators I have the mods that we went with is the high power receiver now There are a total of five receivers with this gun We have the standard receiver, which is the way it comes But this is a rifleman receiver and so is the poison receiver and the cryo receiver The only automatic receiver is of course the automatic receiver But the poison receiver adds a poison damage the high power receiver Which is the one I definitely recommend you using for rifleman builds says greatly increases damage reduced ammo capacity and fire rate which is not a big deal when you're hitting like a rocket then we have the cryo receiver which adds cryo damage then of course we have the automatic receiver which this is a superior fire rate and increased ammo capacity but only for commando builds but this is the gun in all of its glory now let's get into my entire build over the normal perk cards these are all the normal perk cards that make up my in-game rifleman build that we're using for the video starting off in strength we have four and this one can have barbarian at one star every point of strength adds a plus two to damage resist max 40 no power armor we have blocker maxed out take 45 percent to less damage from your opponent's melee the attacks over in perception we have 15 and this one can have all the rifleman cards maxed out to get the max amount damage out of this build we have tank killer maxed out your rifles and pistols ignore 36 percent armor and have a nine percent chance to stagger we have concentrated fire at one star that's now targets limbs focus fire to gain accuracy and damage per shot we have grenader maxed out your explosives detonate with twice the radius over in endurance we have six and this one can have ghoulish at one star radiation now regenerates your lost health we have admantium skeleton at one star your limb damage is now reduced by 30 percent and this is so we have a less percent chance of being staggered we have fireproof maxed out take 45% to less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have Radical maxed out. The greater the rats, the greater the strength, a max plus 5 to strength. Over in Charisma, we have 9, and this still can have Lone Wanderer maxed out. When adventuring alone, take 20% less damage and gain 30% AP regen. We have Field Surgeon maxed out. Stim Packs and Ride Away will now work much more quickly. We have Tenderizer maxed out. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 3, and this still can have Nerd Rage maxed out. While below 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% to damage, and 15% AP regen. Over in Agility, we have 14, and this still can have Action Boy maxed out. Action Points regenerate 45% faster. We have Cover Operative maxed out. Your range sneak attack still 2.5 times the normal damage. Damage. We have Escape Artist maxed out. Sneak to lose enemies and running no longer affects stealth. We have Gun Fu at 2 stars. That swaps targets on kill with a 10% and then 20% of damage to your next 2 targets. We have Adrenaline maxed out. Gaining a plus 10% to max 60% of damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. Over in Luck we have 15 and this one can have Bloody Mess maxed out. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red pace. We have Better Criticals maxed out. That's Criticals now do a plus 40% of damage. We have Serendipity maxed out. While below 30% health, gain a 45% chance to avoid damage. No power armor we have ricochet maxed out gain an 18 percent chance to deflect back some of your enemies range damage no pvp we have starch genes maxed out you'll never mutate from rads and right away will never cure your mutations and we have critical savvy at one star critical hits now only consume 85 percent of your critical meter these are all the normal perk cards that make up my in-game rifleman build now let's get into the legendary perk cards over the legendary perk cards these are all the legendary perk cards that help make up my in-game build starting off in intelligence we have that at two stars we have endurance maxed out strength at one star luck at two stars far flung fireworks at two stars and follow through at two stars these are all the legendary perk cards that help make up the build. Now let's get into my armor and my mutations. Over in the armor, what I'm using and what I recommend you using is a full set of unyielding gear. And the reason being is because it says gain it to plus three to all stats except endurance when low health. And we are a low health bloody build, so this works fantastic. Though you can use Chinese stealth armor or the covert scout armor to stay sneaked. Over the mutations, these are all the mutations that we're using for the build. We have adrenaline reaction, bird bones, eagle eyes, egghead, healing factor, marsupial, skeleton, and speed demon. But this is it. This is the weapon in all of its glory and my entire build to go along with it. Now let's get to some demonstrations. The first monstrosity on our list for the demonstrations is the level 75 Scorched Beast that goes by the name of Charlie. And we're going to absolutely obliterate her with the overcharged alien disintegrator. If we can hit her. There we go. There's one little hit on her. All right, look at that face shot. Jesus, give me a couple more of those shots. Okay, I think I was sneaked. I'm not too sure. Oh, nope, there we go. Now we're sneaked. Okay, we gotta watch out for those rads. Blow this dude's face off. 802. What is that? Oh my God. So any more bloat flies? Stupid bloat flies. Those things are so annoying. You know when you get hit by a bloat fly, they actually lay eggs in you, so that's disgusting. Let me just destroy her. Oh God, oh God. Back up, back up, back up. 
There we go. Couple of face shots, and just like that, Charlie is no more. The next Wasteland sequel on our list for the demonstrations is the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name Alfred. We're just gonna give him a couple shots outside of that to wake him up. There we go, there we go. We're gonna reload this time because we have very little ammo capacity. Okay, now we're gonna blow his face off. Look at that, 1,103 straight to the face. There we go. We're high hitting all day. And just like that, Alfred is no more. Now, let's move on to our next target. Next up, we have the one, the only, the level 75 Scorched Overseer of Vault 51 that goes by the name of Gladys. Now, I'm completely missing those shots. Okay, let me just take out her friends to make me feel a little bit better about myself. All right, now we can take out Gladys. Look at those headshots. Oh, no. At least she doesn't see me. There we go. Okay, I'm still missing. Even when I'm not in Vats, I'm just terrible with this gun, apparently. Woo! I'm over here, Gladys. If I can get those face shots off on her, that's where I'm doing my damage. Oh, God, Gladys, I'm gonna need you to back the heck up. And just like that, the Overseer Gladys is no more. The next monstrosity on our list for the demonstrations is the one, the only, the level 100 Myler Queen of the Spruce Knob Lake. We're gonna start by blasting her in the face. There we go, because that's where we get the most amount of damage out of these Myler Queens. All right, all right. How about a stomach shot? You stupid bug. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Oh, God, what are you doing? I did not realize there was someone there. Woo, woo. Gotta back up, kill these guys, get a little bit more damage towards her. Blast her in the face. Again, the only thing I wish is this bloody one had more ammo capacity. And just like that, the Myler Queen is no more. Let's just pray for her poor, poor soul real quick. Oh, dear wise Mothman, I pray that you look after all these disgusting Mylurks in their afterlife. And also, if you want a full commando build to go along with the Alien Disintegrator, I highly recommend you click on the video on the screen right now. 